latter part of the 1700s, a nation was established. Founded upon a love for righteousness, a group of simple men gained independence from the greatest superpower in the world by depending on Yahweh. This nation became the United States of America. Nothing about us hinted at greatness except the biblical principles we were founded upon, and it was this, that we remained united in Torah through the early wars that threatened our very existence as a nation. Because of a love for Yahweh and upholding the standards based in His Word, we were blessed to become stronger as time went by, and finally, by the end of World War II, the United States was left as the only superpower in the world. Though once weak in the natural and strong in Yahweh, we did as the children of Israel did so often. We forgot the goodness of Yahweh and how He delivered us from the valley of the shadow of death, and we forsook His commandments. Prayer and the Bible became frowned upon, being removed from public schools. Any righteous standards that once defined us became offensive, but would have been abhorred in early America and was punishable by death in biblical times has become the everyday norm in the United States. And without God, democracy will not and cannot long endure. If we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. Yahweh, being gracious and merciful to us as he was to the children of Israel, has given us one more chance to follow him. As Americans, we have a decision to make once more, in whom we will choose as the leader of our nation. We will choose to either be united with the world in a global ideal of a progressive agenda to follow Satan, or separate ourselves as an independent nation as our founding fathers once did to follow Yahweh. This massive decision can all be wrapped up in one day. On November 8th, we as citizens of the United States will choose the next president to become our leader. We will choose between a candidate that helped the spread of terror around the world or someone Yahweh raised up for such a time as this. I honestly believe, and I'm not saying this because it's myself, this is the last time. This is going to be the last election we have a chance to make this country great again, to really make it wealthy again, make it strong again, make it, you know, all of the things that we want to see, we have to have. We will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism. The nation state remains the true foundation for happiness and harmony. I am skeptical of international unions that tie us up and bring America down. And under my administration, we will never enter America into any agreement that reduces our ability to control our own affairs. But I really believe this is the most important election that we've been involved in, in you know, for many, 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 many years, many decades. And because it's going, it's going down. Uh, the Supreme Court justices that I told you about before, uh, I mean, if they put certain people onto the Supreme Court, our country is going to be a whole different country. We're going to be a large-scale version of Venezuela. We're going to be a totally different deal. And this is the last chance that, in my opinion, our country has to really get better, to get well. And I just think this election is so important, not because of me, but because of the ideas, the ideas that we have, the ideas that we need to do what we have to do. So I, I just think this is going to be the most important election that we've had for many, many decades, and I'm not sure you're gonna have a second chance at it. Donald J. Trump is like no candidate that's ever ran for president. His motive is simple, 
for years and decades, he has witnessed the decline of America, and he has the ability to act by not being funded, and therefore controlled by special interests and lobbyists that participate in a shadow government. This being the case, he does not yield to the will of man and can be used by Yahweh to yield to his own will as he used biblical figures like Cyrus, Samson, David, and many more. Though flawed as they were, he is willing, undergoing continuous threats and harassment by both sides, to make America great again. How do I know Donald Trump is for real and has the potential to put the United States back to the righteous path? Everyone hates him. Those that have made America turn into the gross sinful nation it has become, hate him. They never thought he would get this far, and they do not intend to let him become president, despite what the people say. This is why we must pray for Donald Trump. This is why we must act on our beliefs on November 8th, because not voting for Donald Trump will concede the election to Crooked Hillary. This, this sounds like political presidential talk to me, and I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not, but I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country. You've become a role model in this country. The reason that your book sells, the reason that your board game sells, is because people are looking to leaders. People are looking for values, and you're one of the people. And it's no, you may dismiss it, but people are talking about, you know, Donald Trump for president. What they're really talking about is Donald Trump, show us the way. Would you, would you really like to, to if, take over and run, and run the country as you have run your I would organization? Much, I would much prefer that somebody else do it. I just don't know if somebody else is there. I don't know if we have the kind of advocate that you need. We need major surgery. This country needs major Are surgery. Are you the surgeon? I think I do a fantastic job, but I really would prefer not doing it. Uh -huh. Is, are you saying you will take it home if drafted? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I hope that somebody comes along who can be an advocate. And I think that somebody will be so popular. He'll but you be, haven't seen it. He anybody. or she yeah. will be the most. But uh, I don't see it now. I wish that person were there. As a nation, there's much we have gone through. We have had the bloodiest war in our history as a result for condoning slavery. We lost our first war in Vietnam soon after we legalized abortion, resulting in the slaughtering of over 58 million living children today. We have had experience in a steady increase in terrorist attacks the further we forsake Yahweh's righteous standards. Judgment has come, but mercy is still available. We must come together and repent as a nation for the sins we have committed against Yahweh's holy standards. A revolution for righteousness must occur to overcome the evil that is currently in power and that plans to remain in power. Now we have one last chance, one last opportunity to amend our ways as a nation and repent by choosing whom Yahweh raised up to be a representative for righteousness in America again. Find out more vital information for the benefit of your soul by subscribing to our channel. If this video has been a blessing to you, give it a thumbs up. Most importantly, share, share, share this video with every American to spread awareness of the significance of the upcoming election for the future of the United States of America.